It sounds like a dream job, making and selling pianos in a Yorkshire Dales barn. Adam Cox is reviving an industry that died out in the UK when the recession hit. So you've got some fantastic pieces in here. I mean, they look beautiful, but none of them are actually made in the UK. No, that's right. I mean, this, for instance, is a um, Bluthner. That's a, that's a German maker. Uh, this is a Zauter. They're also made in Germany. Setting up a huge workshop means expensive overheads. Yorkshire pianos have kept it small. Much of the intricate work is done by local businesses. This is a craftsman's cooperative bringing together a number of homegrown specialists to produce a traditional British sound. So meet the team. There's the stringer, John Spencer, an ex-piano builder from Otley. He loads the strings onto the framework. The regulator, Jackie Barron. She fine-tunes the action of the hammer hitting the string. The cabinet maker, David Wilson, also based in the Dales, working with walnut to create a more traditional looking instrument. And finally, the musician, Emmanuel Vass. Before the piano is sold, the keys need to be played ferociously to build stability. There's a particular tone that's associated with British pianos and a lot of people grew up with that tone and uh, quite often people like to have a piano similar to one they, they grew up with because that's, for them, that's what they associate a piano sound with. Yorkshire pianos believe their British Cavendish model can compete with giants like Yamaha but admit making music the traditional way will be a challenge. Heidi Tomlinson, BBC Look North, Skipton.